My name is Dan Burns. I'm the Director of Plan Operations at Community Hospital of Staunton. We are a critical access hospital in Southwest Illinois. Water quality is important in any facility, but particularly in the healthcare industry. There are more eyes looking and stricter regulations. They've been having some chronic hot water problems as far as reaching temperature and long wait times. It's really a key indicator that their system was unbalanced and needed some solutions. This system allows us to rebalance the entire system constantly. My boss had a webinar on high clean and he asked me about to watch the webinar and I thought it was a good system. I compare it to building automation where thermostats used to be the control for each room, but now you got centralized systems where you can see the whole building. Well, this does that for hot water loop balancing. I didn't know it did the flushing part too, and which was an added bonus. I think the biggest value for us is the central control system, the controller, being able to access the information from all the valves in that one place to see what the system's doing, to be able to analyze where there may be an issue. I'm able to go there and know what the temperatures are in all the loops and then be able to control those, control them individually, control them globally, and then to be able to monitor what they are. Well, the flushing pieces has helped our chlorine readings, our monthly testing for water management program. Now it's all automated. We get better readings and it don't take as long to get the hot water to where it needs to go. And the reports that it generates, we can use for our building water management program. We were contacted by the hospital facility director and made aware of the different problems that they were having. And we were able to provide support, provide recommendations and system improvements. We sent our blueprint to GF Piping Systems and they evaluated our system and made recommendations of where to put balancing valves. And then they recommended flushing valves where we should put them. We ended up using less balancing valves and eliminating problems. We flushed at the end of each loop. We had 15 valves spec'd out and we ended up putting in 14 of them. In the startup, they came out and set everything up and the support's been great. What I like about it is you know what each valve is set. It's working, it's got a monitoring. With a manual system, you don't know if the valve's open or closed or if there's even water flowing through there, what the temperature is of the water. This system makes it foolproof that if somebody goes and turns the valve off to fix something and doesn't turn it back on, that's gotta know, hey, it's, it's cold, it's, there's no flow here. It's a red flag right up. We had to manually flush and we used to flush and we sometimes we'd have brown water and other things. But now since we've had the high clean system, I haven't seen brown water and I haven't had complaints of somebody's taking a cold shower. As our water management gets more strict, as the criteria gets stricter, and as we work through the process of meeting standards, the high clean system allows us to do that.